Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Windows Movie Maker that has been included in earlier versions of Windows. And if you're trying to download it now and you're unable to find the download, this tutorial will be for you guys. So many of you might know that the Windows Movie Maker is bundled with Windows Essentials 2012 and if you read up on any Microsoft help articles or information you might notice that it has been a depreciated application and it's no longer receiving updates and it's not on their website any longer. However in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a workaround on how to download it safe and securely through Microsoft servers still. So we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to include the link to this help page in the description of the video. Now keep in mind there's a good chance that these links might go up and down over the years. If the link is not working I will try and find a replacement one at a later date but just let me know in the video description. By the time of this recording I found this Microsoft Answers forum page here and there's a couple different latest versions we can download which is the last version that has been released essentially. I hope you guys see what I just did there. <laughs> but we can see there's a couple downloads. There's one for English UK and one for United States. It doesn't really matter where you're located in the world, you can still download it. I think it just pretty much has to do with the language pack being slightly different. But we're gonna select English United States. You can select either one. And you can notice it's saved on webarchive.org, so it's a very safe site. You don't have to worry about this executable. So we're gonna save the file. And depending on what web site you're using or what your web browser is, internet connection speed, it might be a little bit quicker. So you just want to be patient. This is a decent sized download here, so it will take a couple moments. Okay, it should say that it finished downloading. So I'm going to select the Run button right here to run it. You could also save it to the desktop or somewhere convenient if you wanted to as well. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to see a user account control window pop ups asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Make sure it says Verified Publisher right next to Microsoft Corporation. And you want to select Yes. If you receive any notification saying an app on your PC needs the following Windows feature, you want to click on this download and install feature button. And this will take a moment, so I'm just going to fast forward through this part of the tutorial. Alright everybody, the feature was successfully installed. You might say you might need to restart apps that require this feature. So I'm going to click on close. And now I'm going to go back to the downloads folder in which this executable was saved to. So I'm going to just open a file explorer here to just get to the downloads folder. And I'm going to select the WLS setup slash all. And wherever you guys saved the file, most of it should be saved in the downloads folder if you were curious. And now you might receive a user account control window. Select yes. It might look familiar to what we received earlier. And then we're going to be asked to what do we want to install. You want to click on choose the programs you want to install, which should be the second option here. And now you can uncheck all of these except for Photo Gallery and Movie Maker. And then once you've done that, you can click on this install button. And you might get this pop up in the back saying you're installing other programs, which is fine. And if you show details, it shouldn't really be an issue here. So just be patient, this will take a moment to run.
Okay, it should say done. Windows Essentials is installed. To start using Windows Essentials, click close. I'm going to click on close here. Close out of this other window. And if you want to access Windows Movie Maker, all you have to do is head to the start menu. Just left click on it one time. And just type in movie. And best magic comes up, should say Movie Maker right above desktop app. I'm going to left click on that one time to open it up. I'm going to have to accept the user agreement. So click accept. Again, another user account control window. You want to select yes again. And there we go, guys. Movie Maker has been installed on our Windows 10 computer. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.